three, respond and assist units on the scene. Mike, you guys might as well come on in and we'll just do the door. Please, there's more! It ain't gonna happen! We teach them how to shoot, we teach them how to drive. We're gonna lose if you don't have much uh, dodging maneuver. How many drugs have you used tonight, Eddie? Eh? That's like asking uh, how many times you have sex today. We just had a report of a drive-by shooting. Open up! I'm just in open power and smell of marijuana. Open up! I need a dog man, he's out on foot in the school. He got up after I hit him. Got a couple of 12 gauge shotguns here. Wow. Go, you're going to jail. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. Okay! Hey, my phone, Bubba, for one. Okay! In custody. Okay! I will come out! Please, sir! Get on chill at a time, okay? Okay! Get, get him out this way. Come on out this way. Hey, come on, ah. Okay, give me his arm. Ah. Ah. Don't you move! Ah. Ah. Or I'll break it! Ah. No. See if you can disconnect shit. this somehow. I think it's I so hard. I can't do shit. Shit, fuck the Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, let go of him. Barry, let go of him. I got his no, head. He's trying to kick the uh, drive. It's okay. I got his head. You got to let it. Hold up here. I got nothing on me, sir. Go ahead. There's uh, rigs in the car. Oh, 
Okay, step up. Yes, sir. Ready? We're gonna lift. We're gonna lift you. Yes, sir. I am, sir. How are you doing? You all right? It appears that the uh, steering wheel may have been locked with a. Uh, an instrument of some kind, and he's cut the steering wheel to get the uh, lock off. And it appears that he's punched the ignition, and then he's used a uh, standard GM key to uh, start the vehicle. Uh, it's come back as a Surrey stolen as of 12:15 today. Just sitting here. We're staying here. Just sitting there smoking dope. Yeah. 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 Mm. Hey? It's gone. It's, it's gone. It's gone. We're just sitting here. It's relaxing. all that smoke, I would think it's gone. It's gone. Our friend just lives right up the road. He does. He can probably smell you from there. Probably. I haven't forgotten your file. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. First of all, put all your hands where I can see them. OK? Right now, you're all under investigation for possession of narcotic. OK? Just have to tell you these things before I search you and look for the dope. OK? OK? I'll get you to jump out one at a time. First of all, with the driver. And just put your hands on the hood and leave your hands there, okay? Or sorry, on the trunk. Put your hands right there. Everyone, leave your hands where they are so I don't get mad. Okay. Okay, you can jump out on this side. Yeah, I'm going to. And if I get out of your hands, see the back of the gel. All right, just stick your hands right there. Okay, before I search you all, anyone have any dope on them still? No, none at all. None? No, you can search us. Okay, I've got to go. We've had a report that there's been a stabbing here right at the back of the Dell Hotel. We're just pulling up. Uh, let's see what's happened here. Yes, yes, yes. No problem. Don't be rough. One knife right here. Leave your hand there. Yeah, there's one knife right there. Don't worry about it. Leave your hand I'm there. I'm not worried about it. Nice knife. Where's the knife? Right there, I told you. Where? You I don't need there. that. I don't need that. I don't need it that tight. Come on, give me a break. Shut up. Oh, well, give me a break. Oh, oh yeah, right. That's actually so forceful. There's no need to get forceful. No, I want you okay. to shut up for a while. Okay. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere, am I? Yeah. Better yeah. get beat up in this the fucking thanks I get. Can I get these loosened just a tad on the left? Wait a minute. Uh, Possession of concealed weapon. Did you it me? wasn't concealed. You understand that? I did. I could care no, I don't. What don't you understand? This is too tight. My duty to inform you that you have the right to retain and instruct counsel without Can delay in private. Pad? You may call any lawyer you want. There is a 24-hour telephone service available, which provides a legal aid duty lawyer who can give you legal advice. This advice is given without charge. Can't hear you because a bouncer f***ed up my ear. And the lawyer can't explain the legal aid plan to you. If you wish to contact the legal aid duty lawyer, I can provide you with a telephone number. Do you understand that? Did you were you hard of hearing? Did you want to call a lawyer? Are you hard of hearing? You're not obliged to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken in evidence. You understand that? You guys are so tough, but when you when I was getting beat up, thanks for the help. Really appreciate that. When I was getting beat up. Well, we're here to help you. Yeah, really help. You decided to go back with a knife to even the score? Well yeah, we you and you with three on one? You and you can call for backup. I can't. Well you could have just left and avoided the whole problem. Huh. Yeah, right. I didn't go back to clear it what's up anyway. I went to go talk. Ian, what's your last and name? then everybody else got involved. I like this loosened place. That's a little tight. What's your name, Ian? Yeah, well, if you don't know it now. Can I get this loosened first? This is a bit extreme. Well, then you loosen it and I'll help you out, like I always do. You, oh, excuse me. Look at my record. I always hope you guys, you guys can help me for a change. This is extremely tight, and this pavement is cold. There's no reason for this. Hello. Thank you. Loosening up the cuffs now. 
spell your last name out for me, please? Not on TV, I don't think so. Right now, he'll be taken back to our cells and lodged, uh, held in custody. While we uh, attempt to determine exactly what took place, uh, it would seem at this point there's little doubt he'll be held in custody and he'll be going to court Monday morning charged with uh, probably assault with a weapon, uh, possession of a dangerous weapon, and uh, a few other related charges. We're on our way to our call here. There's four males fighting in the yard. Apparently uh, four males on top of another male fighting. And... Uh, Constable Cook has recognized the address to some brothers who are infamous for uh, having weapons, handguns, and I guess he's had some dealings with them not too long ago. Their residence is on our computer as having weapons, dangerous. So we're hitting there a little quicker than we would One normally hit. One female outside the bathroom, two East Indian males just inside the door. Um, Another female, uh, looks like crawling out the roof. Okay, I got two males now coming out of the roof of the building. Uh, uh. Not they couldn't get anybody out on the phone there. Got about four or five males now outside. Looks like they're going to be starting to mix it up. I'm just going to move on here. They're going to eye me. Open the door, I'm going to kick it in. Hi. Hi. Are you the girl called us? Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? There's a kid fighting. Both the kids brothers. are fighting? Yeah. Who's fighting with who? Brother both. Are they all in here? Yeah. Okay, show me which ones are fighting. Two people got in a fight. Uh -huh. One guy that didn't live here and one my brother. One's your brother and one guy that doesn't live here? Yeah. Okay. When we went to what, was the, what was the fight about? I don't know. He asked the guy to leave. He wouldn't leave. He asked the guy to leave your house and he wouldn't leave? You live here, right? Yeah. Okay. Why wouldn't he leave? I don't know. He thought Just he drinking or what? No, these two friends getting drunk. Okay. Then what happened? They got an argument. We're about something on the lawn here? No, no. In the house the whole time. Okay. Is that your mom that called us? Yeah. Okay, what happened to you? I was breaking up the fight. I pulled my brother back and I got elbowed in the face. Who hit you? I got elbowed in the face while the fight was going. There were two people, maybe four people holding them back. They go elbowed by anybody. I'm not... So you're not sure who hit you? I'm not out to charge any. Okay, no right? problem. No, I'm being honest. Where's the Where's the guy that was fighting with your brother? He took off. He's gone? Yes. Okay, and... He left about five minutes ago. That's when she phoned back that it's over. Okay, and where's your brother, the one that was fighting? He should be inside. I'm not sure. Maybe Which one off. was it? The taller one. Okay. What's his why name? Why don't you go? Why don't you come in and look? What's his name? Why don't you come in and look? I will. What's his name? Sandy. I just want to go in there when I can get everything I need out of you why here. Do you need Everybody's to go pissed you off. If they told you not to go in, you're not allowed inside. Yeah, I am allowed inside, sir. Why? Because there was a report of an assault here. That yeah. means there's a crime took place. But Bad guys told... are inside. I can enter the residence without a warrant. Okay, no, I'm sent Okay. So that's all we're doing now. If everything's cool here, we'll all leave. Holy, don't hit me in the head. Hey, yeah. hey. That's assault. That's assault. Hit that's assault. Yeah. Yeah. And for all these people, no, hey, you're, you're hurt hey, real bad. Mota, mota, because you mota. Got a hey, mota. Hey, listen to me. I was born and raised here. I don't hey, mota, you finally got a job. 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 Guys, come home with me. Hey, you come home with me. Come home with me. I can't I was told you. Hey, I'm Mr. Shaw. You came home with me. I came here because uh, I came upon his police. Upon, wait, you would understand. Upon the, her majesty, the queen. Surrey from Bravo 8 on Portable. Sorry, I need uh, Metro 
here to this location. Workers cross code seven, just routine or emerge? Well, it's not emerge, but a little faster than routine. I got, uh, what I got here is a fellow, he's got about a two inch laceration to the skull and he's bleeding uh, pretty good, but he doesn't want any medical attention, but uh, I don't know, maybe the ambulance can convince him that he should go. Oh, no, you right. Do you have a way to get home? Oh, you're in yeah. you're in you're in you're in go home or you're going to jail. I know you. You're RCP. here no one wants to let us in the door finally the mother there comes and answers the door and we make an entry uh, based on the assault they don't want us to go in and everybody's asking us for a search warrant we don't need one so we finally go in and get that straightened out find out who uh, the fighters were one guy is uh, gone and the other guy is still there he's in the bathroom there's lots of blood all over the walls obviously someone's been cut pretty good and as it turns out, it's the guy inside the bathroom. He's in the shower, he's got a cut on his head, it's probably about uh, two and a half inches long and it's gaping, so he's bleeding real good. Um, he's indicated that he didn't get this from an, an assault, it's a medical condition. Uh, we finally convinced him to uh, go seek some medical help. He refused to go with the ambulance, but one of his cousins decided to take him to the hospital. So that's where uh, he's gone. There's no charges on this because we don't know who the other fellow is. And even if we did, nobody's saying they were assaulted. So basically we just come here and made sure the problem was over and won't reoccur again tonight. And that's about it. Philip, you're talking to an RCMP officer. You're gonna have to- Yeah, so what? It was an RCMP officer that sprayed me. Was all right? Well, sit up then and we'll no, put this man. in your eyes. No, okay, that's it. you, man. It doesn't do any good. It doesn't f you. Do. You want to f pepper spray me? Go ahead. Okay. Keep doing it. F okay, put your other arm. Bullshit, Swing man. your other arm out. Swing. My buddy f***ing balls off and I get the f***ing shit kicking over this? F*** you guys, man. I didn't drink. I don't even drink. I've never had a charge in my life. F***ing bullshit, man. F*** you guys. Just watch your head. Watch your head. Bring your feet in. I can put their, I get pepper spray to f***ing beat on f***ing them. Do you want sodium? Do you want it? If I can touch the sodium, I will take the sodium, please. Okay, the opening's on the top here. How am I supposed to trust you guys? I am not talking to you, Sade, okay? You know what? Not talking to you, Sade. I would like to calm down i would like to walk away i would like to have a coffee come back and i want to open up a complaint against these guys because this is bullshit, man. okay against who uh, the, the fat guy man he came over he punched me in the head look at this no just stay no, in the car no, just stay in the car okay okay look, i gotta get up okay? okay okay look i can't even see i can't run okay look at this man i mean i must that guy that guy's like twice the size of me man mm -hmm. you see that is there a scratch here is there a mark there? No, I don't see anything. I feel it. Okay, that. just put that, put more sodium in your eyes there. Yeah. But I'm telling you that. Okay, just put the sodium in your eye and it'll clear it out. 
Okay, the one guy, the one guy. Mm -hmm. I deserved anything that he gave me, okay? Because I mocked him off. But the, the bigger guy, he's on a power trip. He should not be a security guard, man. I'm serious. My brother's a cop. I'm going all the way with this, man. Yeah. Does it help any? No, it hurts, man. It really hurts. Okay, well, just just finish it off there. Put put the rest in. Okay. Yeah. The cuffs were behind him there, and he. Uh, what's, what's your address, uh, Kevin? Philip. It's in. Philip. Uh, sorry. I don't know my address. It's, it's in Sydney, eh? Yeah, it is in Sydney. All right. Where are you staying here? I'm saying, uh, no. For Were you asking police officer early, uh, earlier on to have uh, to take you to jail for a free breakfast in the morning? Uh, I might have. I might have, eh? No, actually, you know what? what? I asked an officer to escort me home. Yeah, but home is. Uh, yeah, I, I asked him to drive me home. Just stay in the car, Philip. Stay in the car. I'm gonna throw up. Okay. So get out of the car. Okay. Throw up. My yeah. hands are on the ground. You're on the ground. Okay, Philip, yeah. where is your residence tonight? Where are you staying? Honestly, I can't tell you. I can show you. <laughs> oh, I'll bring you for uh, causing a disturbance. Where's the security guards, you guys? Did you get their names? Yeah, we'll look after that. Don't worry. Do you have their names? Yeah, we have. I want their names, and I want to, like, I want to file a complaint against them. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not drunk. I only drink. That's okay. Okay, you gonna throw up or you're right there? I'm gonna throw up soon. Because you'll have a free breakfast for tonight. Pardon me? For tomorrow morning. Pardon me? You'll have a free breakfast for tomorrow morning. <coughs> but if you get in the car and I will go and put some water in your face there and. Uh, yeah, just watch your head and get in the car, Philip. What are you guys talking about, baby? I didn't yeah, Chris, is that his, or? Okay, what I think happened was uh, the security guard was doing his routine patrol here, come upon an intoxicated male. There was some kind of disagreement, and uh, in having the disagreement, I believe the uh, intoxicated male may have tried to assault the security guard, and uh, basically got the short end of the stick. Right now, we're headed to Stu Baker's. There's supposed to be a fight in progress with 12 drunk males. Okay, what's going on here? You guys okay? Yeah, we're fine, buddy. Sorry, okay, you got any ID on you? We're going right now. Yeah. I need an ID for both of you guys. You betcha. Very good. Birdie. Hey, hey. You and I were tangled. Okay. Don't walk away. I'm getting married. Okay, just take off. I just need your license. Okay. Can I explain what happened here? No. Sure. Nothing happened. Birdie and I were just wrestling. Just getting into just the just back. Yeah, what about the guy that We have designated you drivers. Do you Somebody hit me, man. Are you uh, the bouncer here? No, no, no. no. I'm with the stag here. Does he look like a fucking bouncer? I'll go get him. Nobody hit me. Yeah. So you guys just clown around here? We're just clowning yeah, around. We're, we're, just, we're, okay. we're taking off right now. Okay. We're not driving. We Who's have driving? We got a designated driver. Have you been drinking? Not a thing. Not Nothing at all? OK. Well, just when I approached the scene, these two were just yeah, myself. Goofing around. Yeah, just goofing around, fighting. Yeah. getting married next Saturday, so. Than that. I'm, I'm lighting up on me a little bit. Anyway. Other than that, I didn't see anything else. Actually, a bouncer's here. I'm gonna... Is this a uh, uh, crime stickers or whatever? I'm just kidding. I mean, that's not legal in this country. Uh, there was a problem at one point in there, but it's kind of been dealt with. Everybody's out. We're just, okay. we're just trying to, you know, send everybody on their way. That's all. So the... just trying to get them in the vans. It's my cousin's day. He's, he's been helping out, so. Okay, I'm just trying. Everything's to fine. I'm just trying to get okay. everybody in the van. Okay. That's it. So we won't cause any trouble. We're just out of here. Okay. Well, we're... <laughs> Our complaint reported that there's 12 drunk males having a stag party, Where do you want to meet? and they start fighting. The complainant reports that the males have been told to leave, and they're not willing to leave. So we got dispatched to attend the scene. We had four members on the scene, and we escorted them back to the van. They were just play fighting. They weren't fighting, but they were just drunk in a public place. I checked 
one male, which was the designated driver. He wasn't drinking, so they just went home and they're gonna continue the party at home. Hopefully they won't cause any trouble later on. Yeah, we're just heading down to a call. Where, uh, previously, about a half an hour ago, we went to a call at a liquor store where a male was bothering some uh, patrons looking for some liquor, I guess, and uh, he was uh, gone when the time we arrived. Uh, now we just received a call that uh, he's a few blocks away and he's uh, trying to get into an old aid, uh, old age person's home. And I guess they're a little scared of what uh, he's doing right now, and so we're just gonna head there and see what he's up to. We're gonna be 20. Go. Did they say he was just uh, attempting to get in, or was he... Uh, Outside, just one sec. Wait, did you see this guy? He was kicking the door of the nursing home. Uh -huh. He was kicking standing uh, How long ago? Um, like yeah. 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. Did you but see he what? He heard that we go to phone 911. We checked a couple yeah. of times and then uh, on MERS. We're going to phone 911. 76 Malibu uh, Red Four Door from 10th Avenue. I don't think I answered him. Though. Though. Okay, and do you know which way he left then? Which, uh, which he direction? Was, he was standing here. Inside, he came inside. But he went inside here. Okay. He's uh, maybe 5'2". All right. He's 30. I don't know if he's still around here. Okay, we'll check the area out, okay? Okay, thank you. If you see him again, uh, give us a call, 911 yeah, again. To lock the door. Okay, that's good. No, because one of the relatives came here and then we did not lock the this door right away. Okay. I'll just check in behind you. Yeah, Chuck, he's, uh, he's left the area and he's just probably walking around, so we should be able to find him. Same description as uh, the one broadcasted uh, on the uh, Middlegate call. Okay, we're gonna, we'll make some patrols for him, okay? See if we can find him. Yeah, if, he comes, if he comes back here, uh, you can give us a shout. He was kicking that door, not this one, but yeah. the other one. And there's no damage to the door, right? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, then. Where are we going? Oh. Yeah, I'm um, going from 6 and Gulf East, uh, now running south side. Copy that. Chasing this young fella all night. Were you over on at the Middle Gate liquor store earlier? Yeah, I, really, I was, yeah, because I live right beside there. Yeah? I was there, yeah. Were you causing a problem there? Uh, no. Sure? We got it at your work. And at the hospital on... Uh, oh, it's... Hey, hey, talk to me, okay? Were you at the hospital <laughs> on Elwell as well? No. No? No, I wasn't. What was the call on Elwell? Ah, uh, he's at the door, kicking the door of one in at the hospital, at the old age home. Not me, sir. Well, they described you to a T there, big guy. Yeah. Wasn't me, sir. How much have you been drinking tonight? Uh, not much. I had a couple of drinks earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And where are you headed right now? Just, I was just going home. Just going, going home? back home. Yeah, to my apartment. I was just going to bed. And where do you live? Going home to go to bed. Where do you live? 7035. Street. Apartment 217. 217? Yeah. Ever been any trouble with the police before? Oh, yeah. Lots. Yeah. Lots. Goes back to 1979. Yeah. I've done penitentiary sentences. What for, basically? Uh, robberies, assaults. Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I've been, ever since I've got out here, though, I've been working steady. Where are you from? Time. Edmonton. Edmonton, no. Oh. Good spot. Oh, it is, eh? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't want to ever go back to that good spot. Yeah. So what are you doing all the way down here? It's quite a walk for you. Where'd you go? Well, no, actually, I uh, I was going to see if I could pick up my bike where I left it. And I forgot where I left my bike, so I was just going to go home, go to bed, maybe uh, have something to eat, and then tomorrow I can go pick up my bike. <laughs> I got, oh, those are my keys, eh? 
So all this that's for, uh, uh, for, for tonight, I guess uh, you're going to go home, eh? Me? Yeah. Oh, most definitely. No more problems? Uh, no, no. What was he doing? Uh, yelling. He's yelling? No, no, I just want to go home. I, not too far from here. Go in, watch my TV. I had a nice little place over there. He's, uh, he got a probation order. He's not supposed to be uh, consuming alcohol. Oh, really? He's supposed to submit to breathalyzer on demand. He's already charged by New Westminster for uh, for uh, failing to comply. So I think she'll be arresting him for. Uh, oh, yeah. That's part of your uh, probation? I'm not on probation. Well, it's part of a bail yeah. order. Yeah. So you're to abstain from alcohol? Yeah. Well, I was just going home. <laughs> Uh, we've been chasing you all night there. So I think what you're going to do is come in with us for the night. Because we're not going to chase you around the city. No. Well, I don't live too far from here. Can't well, you no, just let listen, me go Brian, home? I'll your, just go uh, right no, straight listen, to bed. It's part of your conditions that you're to abstain from alcohol. So to make sure you don't cause any more problems tonight. We're going to take you with us. Okay? All right. All right. Okay. Just come on. Everything sharp in your pocket? I'll just search them here, Beth. Please. Here, I'm just going to do a quick search, okay? Anything on you? Any needles? No. No? Okay. Okay. Okay, big fella, you're gonna behave, then? Eh? Yeah. All right. Why shouldn't I? Yeah, I should just take me home. I'll be asleep in two seconds. Well, we've been chasing you all night. There's all kinds of calls all on you. All night? For yelling and bothering people. No, I don't, I, I, I don't think it, it's me. Okay. It's all yours. <laughs> I'm not gonna. We'll see you later. Presently going down to a call where we have three males break into vehicles. Uh, the three males are presently still at the scene and it is in progress. So what we're gonna try and do, we got uh, four cars and we're gonna try and get ourselves to cut up all angles of uh, escape and try and congregate on the spot all at once and catch suspects in the act and be able to catch all four suspects. What did I do, okay? I, you I ran down the road, I ran across the lady's lawn. And I'm telling and what you what happened? Hey, she called you, okay? You close to me. What am I doing? I'm sitting in the back of your car. Okay, what are you right. gonna do to me? Now I'm telling you right now, I'll take you to your friend. Don't fuck with me, okay? She what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do nothing. My hands are right here. Okay. My hands are right here. Okay. Who's got the camera? Who's got the camera? Oh, he does. He's got the right. camera. There it is. That's right. It's on tape. Don't fuck with me, okay? Now listen. You're your friend. I'm dropping you off at your friend's place. I'm not gonna arrest you. You tell me where your friends live, and I'll drop Why? you right off. Because I'm gonna make sure that What's you go up? into somebody's What's house. What's up? What's up? Because I want to make What's sure up? I get you into somebody's What's house. What's up, man? I want oh, you into somebody's house. Fucking innocent guy. Well, never been a fucking crime to me. If you're an innocent bar. I came down the road, I tried to get my friend's hose. If you're an innocent guy, then I'm fuck on you, okay? No, I'll take you to the butt place. Okay, okay. Don't give me shit, okay? Uh, we have uh, four or five individuals inside one of the houses on, on Strathmore Street here, and what they're doing is it's late, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, they just finished going to a nightclub and they're all drunk. Um, a couple said they're doing maybe some marijuana inside there. So it appears what they're doing is they're trying to take stuff out of vehicles, break into vehicles, and take some stuff out of the property. And a couple of people in the neighborhood are awake. They see what's going on, see them going back into the house. But no vehicle has been broken into at this point, and nobody seems them do any property damage. We have one suspect into our vehicle right now who um, is drunk and intoxicated in a public place and is going to be taken back down to our police detachment and lodging cells for the night for being drunk in a public place. Uh, unfortunately, we can't uh, place him breaking into any vehicles or doing any damage to any of the property around here um, because it's dark out right now and uh, nobody is able to pick out who's doing what. He's very uncooperative, a little anti-police and very intoxicated so we'll be taking him back for the night and giving him a nice place to stay. And he's out and now everything's fine. Uh, there's some neighbors, uh, somebody pushed a fence through a couple doors down. There's a bunch of yelling and screaming going on down the street. You know? Well, I don't have no 
I don't mean on you, but no, I know. I, 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 that, that could, I know. I know that could have happened. Right. That could happen. I don't you know. Tell, I'll tell you what. I just came home. I'm pissed right off. I found a hole, couple holes in the wall. It's not too cool, man. Okay. It's you can see him. Okay. Now you tell your buddy to smart up. Okay. Just right. smart up. For sure, man. No problem. Sorry for any inconvenience, but nothing okay, this if, has to do with me. Okay. If it doesn't have to do I with you. Home. Okay. If it doesn't have to do with you, well, that's fine. Um. If anything happens around here, again, we'll be coming back here, okay? See, my name's here. Okay, what about Bruce? What's his story? Yeah, I know he's a drinking buddy, but he's climbing over other people's fences in the backyard, and that's one of the guys we caught. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really say, because I haven't been here, right? I just got home myself. Okay. And this is all on you. Okay, we'll talk to your buddies, and if anything happens around here, okay, in the next little while, to any of the like anybody's property down here, tell your buddies that we'll be coming back here, and we will find out which one did what, because I'd say at least half the neighborhood's up right now, and uh, you got a little community watch going on here. Okay, see ya. What am I charged for? Being drunk in a public place. Why? Being drunk in why, a public why place. Why did you antagonize it? Did I antagonize why it? Why did you antagonize it? You're the one that went drinking tonight. I didn't intend yeah, anything. Yeah, and why did you grab me? Why did I grab you? Yes. Because people in the neighborhood are reporting that people... You because and, I tried uh, to get across a f***ing lawn? No, they got a report of you and several other youths that were breaking into Some vehicles. Some other youths, right? That's right. Because I tried getting somebody else's house. Because I wanted to get to my buddy's house. I tried to get across a lawn. And what happened? A lady yelled at me. I explained that to you. Anyways, one of your buddies ran, uh, well actually two of your buddies ran. We've I got you right now, know. you're in custody, I'm you're being arrested. As much as I can, I'm trying to be as helpful as I can to you. Yeah, and well, you don't want to believe me? You're... So who the f*** do I have to give you information? Anyways, you're under arrest for yeah. being drunk in public. Do you understand oh, that? Whatever. Okay, do you want to call a lawyer? No? Yeah. Okay, anything you say you can, we'll be just against you in a court of law. I don't even want to hear it. Don't even tell me, okay? Okay, well I just have to. Just shut the f*** up. You think you're a big king man, okay? Come over here and, and harass me, shit. No, I just think I'm certainly you. helping you. Thank you, okay? Okay. I don't want to hear it. We're just leaving the call right now from the 911 hang up, and we are leaving to a call to go to a party. That is completely out of control. 151 and 85 Alpha. There's 35 cars present, and a female has just phoned saying that the party was totally out of control. Where where is the party though? Wow, it's right here, <laughs> all up and down the street. <laughs> How about everybody just get going, please? Just just get to your car and get going and clear it up. The party is over. Okay. There's a couple people in the house. Those people are staying. Where? Okay, the people. No. No, I, the people. The problem is gone. Every the party's gone. There's okay. A few people. No. In the house. What you should do is tell the people that are in the house. They're all calling to the leave. rides. They're all calling the rides. There's, tell, there's children tell, wait for their parents. Okay, but tell them to get going they right are, now, they are. They're so all that everybody understands. Right. Everybody's gone. Okay. We just want to make sure that everybody's going to understand that the party is over. Oh, right. Yes. It was crashed. This no, is not the only reason that that happened, Mom, is because a bunch of people came down from you, and they would not leave. That is not the point. I'm Point sorry, Mom, you know this was not my fault. I realize I'm that. I'm sorry. Too. I know that. Okay. Is there any damage to the house, ma'am? No, there just the backyard is completely Thrashed. smashed up. And, uh... Lance, <laughs> are you out of here? I have uh, never oh, had yeah. a problem, ever. Ever? No, we've had, like... Never. <coughs> I have five children, and I have never had a problem. Yeah, party's over. See you later. I want to know. Where are you two going? Party's over. Shopping up. Woo! This is my I want to serve you for tag. Yeah. I hate Check this out. We're still drinking. Woo! Jason, shut up. What was this for serving for tag? We're still drinking. We Seriously? Cool. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow this is my house. I had a party and got out of control. Yes. How are you? Hi. <laughs> hey, look up here. We're ready. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we had a big this party and there was some lot but I didn't know anybody, but it's my party. I told them to leave, so they left by going this way. <laughs> Thank you. 
my god, my dog! My dog! Where's your dog? Oh my god! It's the puppy! Where's my dog? Is there any way we can like push this up? How'd they do that? And fix it? <laughs> yeah. Like, sure. <laughs> The best way right now is to tell everybody to leave. Just get everybody going, oh, and that there is no more damage yeah, done to the, the house. Yeah, the only people that are still here are the people that are staying here. Where did you get your pants? Me? <laughs> yeah. I got a good deal on it. No, is there like a store you can buy them from? No. I like them actually. I've, I've always wanted them. Do you want to know what happened to me? I got thrown on the ground and a 40 smashed over my head. <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay. Just, just a little bit dazed right now because you know. You know, I got it kind of knocked out for a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> this one's full. <laughs> 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 Look! <woo -hoo>! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. When will this when will this air? Can I ask you? November. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> Come on, let's Dory and me. Hey, Look at his head, he's got blood all this. over. Everybody check this out. Turn around. Posse up news! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 That ain't my blood, man. Hey, 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 news! What up? Well, we got everything nice and quiet now, finally. So, but uh, something tells me that we might be coming back. We might have to come back here tonight. But right now, everybody's gone. They'll have to clean up the mess in the house. It's quite typical to those parties where the house gets trashed. Mum. Uh, Mom asked us to get them out. We did. We had enough car, which is kind of nice for a while, so we showed enough force, but nobody was hurt badly. And the damage, well, typical to Surrey parties. We're headed to uh, an apartment at Sussex. We have an incomplete 911 call. Apparently, some of the information we have at this point is a female screaming in the background for help to call the police. Uh, last reported that she was running down an alley with four males chasing her. At this point, that's about all we know. So right now we're trying to get down there as fast as we can. Zero seven and Echo 7, be advised. We just got a call from 6452. A female wearing a dark jacket and skirt was running eastbound on Beresford and yelling to the police last night eastbound on Beresford. What it was when someone was trying to break into the vehicle, so uh, we're out with them now. Somebody have this female there then? Yeah, I can't for it. And are the suspects still out there somewhere you'd like Echo 7 there? White male, 16 to 17, 6 foot, 150 to 160 pounds. Ball cap, dark jacket with three stripes, dark pants. Looks like we have an attempted theft of a motor vehicle here. And uh, we're just going to go out and take a look at the damage and see what exactly happened. Uh, we've got another vehicle on scene. It's, they're going to go and do some patrols. And hopefully we can pick the suspect on. I believe the dog is on the way. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe pick up a track. It's, it's been raining, so it might make it a little bit harder to pick up the track from the person, but we'll see what we can do. They were just trying to steal the vehicle. They just popped the ignition. Locked just a plastic cap off the outside. Oh, okay. So they, they popped the ring on it? Yeah, but nothing else was stolen. So I'm just going to do a... Well, I came mm -hmm. to open my car door, and my car door opened. Okay. Yeah, and, and I just you know, started like, screaming like crazy. Okay, and he, they, he was in the vehicle? Yeah, he just turned out and he came right up at my face and I just screamed so the neighbors called the police. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I don't know if you can get a shot of that. But as you can see, the, uh, the ring for the ignition has been popped off. It's just a matter of time that uh, he was going to probably break that housing around the ignition and then just uh, take the ignition core out and likely use a screwdriver or some other type of tool to turn the ignition and, and steal the car. So it looks like the uh, complainer was pretty lucky in this, in this instance in uh, catching them red-handed before they made off with the car. Hopefully we can pick this person up before they, they get too far away. All right. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, well, if I hadn't had those wheels up. Yeah, I guess uh, these I people from just, this uh, apartment building called in because they heard yeah, you. Uh, I would have chased them too, yeah. Yeah, but with the high heels, you know. Right. Yeah. But uh, oh, all of a sudden, okay. the door opened. She jumped back. I was, I was looking this way. And all no, I was, just was, a car, the was a car parked right here, or, or no, did you have well, a door? there are self-storage places okay. right there mm -hmm. facing south. Okay. Is so, it well lit in that area at all? Yeah, oh, totally. under their lantern. I think some kids at SkyTrain were watching out for them or something. Okay. It was totally lit. It was the most obvious spot you'd never steal a car from. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you're probably lucky in this, this case not to have it taken.